We kind of mom her. We like, have you eaten today? When did you go to sleep? Hello everyone, welcome back to Daughter Mama Dialogue. My name is Kyra and my co-host, Mama Cat. Okay, <laughs> so today, <laughs> I don't know why she keeps cracking herself up. I don't know. It's, it, you know why, because I looked over at you and you were like, was I doing that? <laughs> don't be reading, my facial expressions don't always mean anything. I'm just looking sometimes. They don't. Sometimes I make facial expressions like, why are you looking like that? I'm like, facial expressions mean something. They don't. Always. Like why I'm looking anyway, at you like this right now. <laughs> anyway, but some, well, today we wanted to talk about um, mother-daughter relationships. This is that type of podcast or visual discussion. Um, and about how, I guess, roles have changed you know sometimes. yeah roles have changed it, this is a topic that comes up every now and then with us and and more specifically now because <laughs> you were giving me some advice today um because i i um don't go ahead oh yeah so my sister and i we've been talking <laughs> about this for a while mm -hmm. she talks about how she doesn't get enough sleep and you can tell like she she's tired more often like well you gotta go to bed earlier and she's like and then the other thing is she's talking about weight but then she eats less during the daytime but then eats heavier at night but i'm like and she by she she means me right yes my mother and so um we yeah so we you know my mom we just don't think my mom eats enough and we don't like so basically i guess we kind of mom her back to her we kind of mom her we like have you eaten today when did you go to sleep and then i do some extra stuff like i'm like oh well if she tells me certain things i'm like well did you do this that you said you were gonna do why not oh so all that great stuff yeah i i don't i um <laughs> to me you know the attention makes me think of I feel like I'm becoming a teenager. <laughs> that's what I feel like. Because that's the stuff I used to say to you and your sister when you were, you know, teenagers and preteens. And you would think I would have it all together, but no, I'm human. And Yeah. Um, but uh, the other thing that frustrates me is that I used to be so much more active you know, from high school, probably from junior high school on out. And I know you're probably thinking, okay, but that was such a long time ago. But I, I would prefer to be out and about. And I find myself inside staring at the television and yeah. snacking. I mean, I think that comes with just, well, we all, you know, kind of change over time. Because who I am now, I wasn't like this as a teenager or when I was young. Like, I wasn't, you know, I didn't voice my concerns or I, like, I was a very laid back kid and a teenager and probably in college. Well, a little bit more college, I became more structure fo focused because I realized, I started to realize and then slowly implement over the time that if I need, if I really want something, then I have to try, <laughs> yeah, I have to like plan things out. Like, things don't happen magically. Even talented people, the way they even get things done is is not because they're just talented. They actually have to put work into it to be... Like, LeBron, he he did not become one of the best basketball players, most well-known basketball players, just because he's talented. He of has to, mm -hmm. he He has to put that discipline in. So, I guess, like, over time, like, because that's a learned behavior for me, now when I see, like... If I feel like I turn back, then I'm like, and this is not just you. Like, I've said this to other people. Like, well, you say you're going to do this, then why aren't you doing it? Mm -hmm. And, but I got to be careful because, and I think the reason why I'm like that, he probably towards you because I've seen, like, you've said the same things to myself and I've seen myself, like, been disappointed with myself and not 
mm-hmm. taking certain action with things I said I need to, or want to do. Okay. Was we went lot? from. Never mind. No, oh. no, no, but uh, no, I was, I was, well, like, as far as, like, talk, telling you what to do, I guess. Telling me what to do, yeah. But it's not, it's not That's from the place thing. of, like, just trying to be bossy, it's just, like, out of concern. Right, of course it's out of concern, but I'm just, okay, so, from my perspective, as someone who has actually raised someone who appeared, who used to be a twinkle, you used to be a twinkle in your dad's eye, like your sister, and like you just appeared out of nowhere and just got bigger, and <laughs> what? <laughs> suddenly you have opinions, and it's like now that's <laughs> that's kind of inevitable because both of our parents, whatever type of relationship we have, good or bad, we were always you always had opinions about everything, and dad has opinions about everything. So we just I think I we come from the opinionated family. It just happened that way. <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying the effect that it has on me. I, I, I literally, and sometimes when I talk to you and your sister, I go, I'm start, I start talking to God after that. I'm like, is this the way it's supposed to be? Like, is this my decline? <laughs> what is <that? laughs> The decline? Is this the beginning of the end? No, it's not. <laughs> I think... You know, actually, when you were talking about, like, you becoming a teenager, it made me think, I said, what if that's really what it is? Because it's like, you heard people say, talk about, compare babies and old people as, like, the same thing being taken mm-hmm. care of. Yeah. So maybe, like, the 20s, 40s, like, 20s to the 40s, 50s, it's like, you, 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 you going towards that. So maybe the 40s and 50s, 60s are like similar to being a teenager. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm beginning to think of that movie, Benjamin Buttons. Remember that movie? Yeah. That that Brad Pitt played. He played the guy who started out old. My question is, where did he come from? He started out old. Did he just appear out of nowhere? And he slowly, I wouldn't say slowly, he just became small. No, he was a, no, he was a baby first. No. He was a baby, an old man baby. But it was backwards. Yeah, but he was like old. An old baby. An old baby. Isn't that like uh, mm. redundant? <laughs> Not redundant. But no, oxymoron. I thought he started out as an older. I thought he started out as a grown old. person. And then he slowly became younger and younger and old. And just disappeared like pop. Poof. No, because when Taraji P. Henson, when she picked him up, I thought it was like there was oh, a scene. was in that movie. I think she was in that movie. Okay, I need to watch that. And he was movie. like, she he was a he was a baby, but it was like everybody was like, ugh, that baby's ugly. He was an ugly old baby. And, and that's then what I'm like, gonna be. I'm ugly. gonna be an ugly old lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care, you know, about being old. It's the ugly No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my just god. Kidding. Y'all but the the point is I'm ugly. just kidding. I don't even know. I said that. My, my, do you know how many times? And I can't say immaturity. Do you uh. know, I get comments. People are like, your mother is beautiful. For men, they be like, like jokes. Like, not like inappropriate, but just just enough to say like, okay, y'all can stop talking about my mom. Yes, my mom is beautiful, but okay. <laughs> like, well, and if you were a cougar, I feel like you will pull. That's a okay. conversation. <laughs> young Moving guys. On. Um, you could pull young guys. Um... I'll, you know what? I've always thought that your grandmother, my mother, is beautiful, just yeah. gorgeous, and crazy. Crazily enough, I thought I want to look like my dad. I don't know why, <laughs> because she she's always been beautiful, and I, you know, as at least now, I have enough sense to realize that oh, I want to be like my mom. You know, I want to look beautiful, but I want to take better care of myself, because also. Just as you and your sister are telling me what I need to do, I've been telling my mom what to do, and she's been looking at me sideways, like, "Yeah, I don't think I'm think just be... passing it back to you, exactly." <laughs> your sister. But now, no, but but I have made some changes. Like for example, even though it hasn't really helped me during the pandemic, but for example, like your sister has always been talking about eating vegan. I've learned to enjoy vegan foods what about yeah. you i'm not vegan but i still like vegan foods okay i'm not I vegan like... either but at least i can appreciate vegan foods like i that's definitely something that i would not you know 
kick off the menu. I that's not. Food. I mean, that's not. I mean, that's good. It's just. I think what it is is just like for so many years you had to focus around Giselle and I, and then there there just been a lot of life changes for you, like the last five six years. You changed careers. You changed. There's just been, and then like changes with Giselle and I, like there's just been a lot of changes. And so, like, I, in my opinion, I think it's just like you have to find, like, with careers, different careers, there's already an established structure, already like needs that need to be taken care of. Whereas I think right now you're like finding your structure, finding that. Well, I, I, mm. it's, I don't know if it's finding my structure, but I, today I was, reminiscing about things that I want my dreams from a kid you know mm. like I actually at one point I might have mentioned this but at one point I wanted to be a ballerina and that was out of being exposed to ballet and I thought oh I can do this I want to be a ballerina but I was told no because you're a black girl and I wanted to be a gymnast and I was told no because you're a black girl and you know what? Now I'm looking at the black ballerinas and the like Misty, the black um, gymnast. Like, um, what's her name? Is it Grimes? Oh no, I'm sorry, I Biles? can't remember her name. Bi oh, Biles. Simone yeah. Biles. Simone. Anyway, you know, and I'm like, I'm in awe of what they are doing because there. I think there are a lot of. There were a lot of um there are a lot of people probably my age who might have dreamt to do what they're doing and someone either discouraged them or they were I mean, from the family might have discouraged them because of society, how society treats black women. Or um, you know, there were just doors that and walls put up to keep us from doing that. But that that was one of my those were two of my first dreams to do something like that, then I kind of went ridiculous to, you know, being an astronaut. But, <laughs> anywho. Well, th those are other <laughs> things that you were, like, actually, so you, even though those were things that people say you didn't want, like, you couldn't do, you still kind of, like, not fully pursued those things, but you took, like, dance classes. You did, you were a cheerleader. Like, you did things that were, not were well, not that, but they were adjacent to it. You know what I mean? Not you didn't fully I realize think, those dreams though. I think um, you think about you know. I mean, I lived in an era where black and white people didn't think black people should be doing certain things. You know, black people think that or have thought that at least in my family, out of trying to protect. Um, for example, I think trying to protect me from, you know, being hurt that I, you know, wouldn't be able to do it. But like you were saying, I've still tried to be active in my life and participate in other things that required physical exertion and, you know, like being on track, um, being dancing. Of course, I wanted to go to the School of the Arts and I was told by teachers that I had, you know, yeah, but I have some of what it takes. I don't know. Ooh. But what is that? Have to do? Like, but but, now, but though, anyway, I brought now. that up to say because you were talking about, you mm -hmm. know, things you want to do, and I wanted to ask you about your dreams from, let's say, from five. Now, let me say this to everybody: <laughs> something she probably thinks I've forgotten. This young lady wrote a story when you were eight. Like, you sure it was eight? Because yeah. I, I, it, it was, it was I mean, called I the magic... Something necklace? Necklace. It was called the magic necklace. And honest to goodness, I remember it. I don't I don't know what happened to it. But I she's remember taking been it into books we were... since. They had to be before eight. No. I Well, we. I, read, I started reading. Like, you and dad got, had me reading kind of young. I guess five or six. Like, I was already... You had me read it. And I was into them, but I don't think I really got into reading. So I was, until we went to Japan when I was eight, actually. And then the you read the Osaka. entire collection of the Harry Potter books, which is, first of all, one of the few 
Why did I get that? Because I'm not even into. No, you're not. That but type I was just thing, like, I, I want like, it. Ooh, English books for kids. No, because you you were against it a bit. You were like, I don't. Why are you reading this? But you still, I still was like, I want it. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I was take it. I, honestly, the last book only came out when I was a teenager. It took that long. But at that time, I think there were what, there were three two or books. three books. Yeah. Do you know how expensive English books are in Japan? Yeah. For people who want to learn English, I think we got them from a. Um, I think I paid maybe what fifty dollars, maybe mm-hmm. for three books. Books are expensive at Barn. You can get books one book for like twenty some dollars. They're expensive these days. Yeah, but we're talking Hardback. about but those are paperback. Two thousand and two. Yeah. Yeah. And they were paperback. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I mean. When I was five, I had no, I did not want to be a writer because I wasn't into writing then. I wanted to be a singer. And I was that like, is so, interesting. I wanted to be a singer. I've never I known that. I still like to sing. I was about to call you <laughs> sister's name. I've never known that, Kyra. I, I don't even to, remember you singing. I sung in the house all the time. And Giselle, I, and Giselle would be like, why are you singing? You so singing. <laughs> hmm. I used to sing. And it was even the point where, we would talk about saying, you're like, you need to work on your breathing, Kyra. You need to work on your breathing. But it wasn't, like, I already knew, like, that wasn't, like, a, a thing that was going to happen. So, I but, was going to give up on that. No, because you sang in the choir. Eventually. And you did a really good job. Did I? Yeah, you did. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's going, hey. That's because church people be, like, <laughs> trying to egg you. Like, go ahead, baby. She try her best. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. They they will egg you on think you can sing. You'd be like, oh, and then you talk to your friends, you're like, Oh. You okay. you did a good job. You know. Um like uh, I would say, um co- compared to hey, you think about people who get on stage and sing and they're not considered operatic or anything, but they get up there and they sing and they get the vibe flowing and you know. That's what you did. You got the vibe going. Anyway, <laughs> we're going. We're going. So what else? I think the only other thing that I can really think. I I think at one point I thought about being a nurse because grandma was a nurse. Yeah. But then I was just like, I think it wasn't that long because I, I it came to my mom like I'll have to be I'll be responsible for other people. I'm like I don't want to be responsible for other people's. Mm-hmm. Like what if someone gets hurt? Like. It is part of my fault. So I didn't want to do that no more. And then, like, and then I think for a while, and then after that, it was just that I became really into books. And then my middle school, I started thinking about, oh, what if I wrote books? Mm-hmm. Um, that would be cool. I did not know how to do it. I barely finished stories and all of that. And I don't remember you barely finishing stories. I would write. This but, child would read books like this thick. No, I'm talking about writing. As far as writing them. Oh, I'm, writing. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I've never finished a book. Um, I mean, there's like the the short story, like the magic necklace, and I've written short stories here and there. But like, do you remember that story? I don't no, remember what not. happened. No, not at all. <laughs> what happened to it? I, I, it's, it's probably I'm, because we moved back. Because I remember as it was. I remember seeing it when we were in Japan. That was when you I was. think we eight. lost it? Well, I got torn up somewhere. It was beat on paper. <laughs> was it wasn't. Uh, it was so like nobody told you to write the story. I think I did. I think it was from a class assignment. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't know, but like I just thought, grade. oh, this is awesome. My daughter. Yeah. My daughter has written a story. You know, when parents, obviously, when you are trying to pour your time and everything into your kids. And everything they do is brilliant. <laughs> You're like, what a brilliant child. But, you you know, thinking about this, like, I mean, there are different things. And now I'm getting back into trying to pursue things that I want. I think that's why, like, because I think what happened for me as to why I'm more like, not like this, but like. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you need to do this. I don't know. Uh-huh. But it's not like that. But, like, being more concerned because, you know, there was... I started seeing myself, mm-hmm. and then when I see things myself or other people that I wish I could have done better, like, you know, you want more for them. Mm-hmm. And so I think, like, after college, around college time, when I was in that relationship um, for a while, with that long-distance relationship, um, the person that I was with, I 
you know, I, I still respect him everything. But what I'm trying to say is, like, there were things about him that I'm like, we were very similar. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I saw things that he would do that I would do. And, like, there were, at that time, you were like, you should do this. And always trying to push us to do certain things. And I'm just like, uh, I don't want to do these scholarship applications. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I remember that. And like, I was so mad. <laughs> I was exactly. mad. Right, and, okay. And so that that's what I'm saying. To get over it. That's what I'm saying because then it was like, you know, I didn't, because I was just so tired. I was so tired about a lot of things. And so sometimes people have to be mentally like reprogram their brain to think, have a different perspective. And at that time I wasn't, I had to actually take me to look at someone else doing some of the things that I would do um, to say, oh, wait, okay, no, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be doing A, B, and C and seeing how they react and how, in the way that I would react. Mm -hmm. And so that's why that started the shift in my brain. And then when I, like, as I got older and, you know, and then you kind of went through that change, like career change and all of that, no longer teaching and all of that. And then like you, you were kind of like in the negative space and it like, it kind of like, <laughs> like alarms went off in my head, mm -hmm. I think. And I'm like, okay, this is someone else I really care about. So, <laughs> right. So I think that's kind of what happened. Yeah. Well, actually, I do still teach. Just so you but, all. but like okay. in the like in the but, not in the way that you were right, before. Right, not just not in a public school system, which is to me for certain people is certain death. So, <laughs> I mean, if it's not for you, then just and this chair is making all this noise. If it to teach in a public school system, um, and survive, you have to be so tough. You know, uh, yeah. and it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with being tough, but I don't know. To me, it's, you have to be a, tough in terms of politics. And I just got really tired of that. Well, so, and that wasn't even my original desire to be a teacher. I just desired to be available for my children. So I yeah. said, well, I know how to teach. I can do this. I've taught in Sunday school for years, and I said I can do this. I know how to but teach. Be, but before like you, but, but before even that was part of the reason why you were that switch was so hard because, because that wasn't even immediate for you, as far as like mean? you were talking about like I can teach, I can do this because from the last day you taught, and there there was you know there was a reason you no longer taught, but then you decided to no longer go back to the school system. There were a good two years. A good two years where you were like trying to find different things to do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and and I I kind of equivalent that to myself because prior to trying to get back into maybe going into the book industry, like thinking about okay, I want to try to get into this, whether if it's writing or being a professional. Before that, I was just thinking. I started thinking about what other people thought or trying to find something else that I was interested in. Mm -hmm. And I was, and I'm subpar in those things. Like even my current job. I mean, I'm okay with my current job actually. But the whole point is, <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. my whole point is, is like it wasn't immediate for you to think about like starting, you know, really like putting effort into like what you do now. Your your current with your with your business, right? Right, right. But you know, just go back a little bit when we think. You know, there's nothing wrong with exploring other avenues of interest, you know, yeah. and it doesn't mean you just because you're not at the top of your game in every avenue doesn't mean it's horrible. But, you know, that's some part of you. It may not be your passion, but it's still some part of you and it's worthwhile exploring. There's I'm not nothing saying wrong it, with that. I'm not saying but, anything wrong with that, though. Yeah. Okay. But, um, and at some point in your life, you never know if you'll need that talent or... It'll be used for something. Still. Yeah, you never know whether it it may be useful in connecting with other people. Mm -hmm. um, you just don't know what, you know, let's just say it's a talent that you just want to keep under your belt. Now, when it comes to what your passion is, mm -hmm. um, I think... You, you know, that's definitely something you pour more energy into. Um, for me, 
I've always had other I've always had other people telling me, "You should be a teacher. You should be a teacher. You should be a teacher." And then I, I always thought to myself, "Oh, to the no. I'm not doing that because I never wanted to be someone standing up in front of other people." However, I did have experiences where without the pressure, I was all in like, "Okay, we're going to learn this." Yeah. boys and girls and blah 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 so without the pressure I'm like I feel creative and I feel open and you know for discussion and you know I've got these ideas that I want to present but with pressure like I feel like I'm saying like a lot uh, a lot of teachers have mm -hmm. um it's, I think it's a negative pressure. There's some. I think there's a positive pressure and a negative pressure. Yeah. Negative pressure is all of the politics. You get the wrong people who are supposed to be. Um, they really should be supporting the work that you do, but they end up just having their own agenda. And that's what kind of ticked me off about working in, um, I'll just say a public school system. Really, main one in this area. I mean, but, but the but back to the topic at hand. I thought get, that was part of the topic. The topic so, is switching. Bro. The topic was switching. We needed more detail. I felt. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so I had gotten away from from teach. It was depressing to me. Yeah, and it I was think depressing that's... to me. Not only that, I had um, physical injury. Just as a, as a, you know, to me that was just on top of my frustration i'll say it was frustrating and then it was depressing because of my physical injury and i got to deal with this and that yeah but going back to i think what we we're saying i i in that phase of my life actually had my daughters coming back saying okay what's going on with you yeah we were like what is going on <laughs> we're going right. what is happening cuz we had we had grown up seeing you just, I mean, there were struggles. It's not like there we didn't notice like like there were no struggles, but it was not. You're like, okay, certain things have to still be done. Like, what's going on? And mm -hmm. like, it, and I, I mean, I think it's all about having everyone's mental where we are mentally. It definitely affects how we move. You can even see like there may be opportunities or things that's obvious that you want to do, but sometimes your mental space if it's not right. Mm -hmm. Then it's just like pass on. I mean, now I think it's okay. We just, I, Giselle and I are just kind of like, we just concerned. We just be concerned. Hens like, I'm oh, making sure my mother is okay, but it's so okay. You're okay. You're okay now. I, you feel like I'm okay now? I think you're okay. I think you don't sleep like you should. I'm like, why don't I you don't. sleep? <laughs> I have a bad habit of binging on shows, and you know, like I like, late. like my law and order. <laughs> My criminal mind. Oh my God, and then Saturday Night Live. Chicago PD. Oh, yeah, Saturday Night Live. Let's not forget about that. All of my invest. Oh, that's another thing that people used to say. Oh, you should be a police officer. I've had people say that I should be a teacher. I've had people say I should be an attorney. And I've had people say that I should be a police officer. <laughs> I can see. Actually, slash that, detective. You know, why, like, you know why those things actually come together? Why? Like your personality. Like you're like, no. This needs to, no, this, 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 like, you're very, like, you can be very, and I didn't notice it until later, actually, when you do it to those other people, because I don't think you did it as much towards Giselle and I, but, like, mm -hmm. you're very, like, no-nonsense, and so teachers are known to be more, like, no like, or at least that, the perceived stereotype, they're, like, no-nonsense, glass down on their nose, like, mm. Oh, okay. And then, that, and then <laughs> police officers, you know what I mean? Um... I guess, uh, I guess maybe I'm, I'm, I think I like mysteries too. You watch like three different criminal, uh, criminal shows. I know she hates when I, I, know I don't hate, hate it. when I watch criminal. I don't hate it. Shows. I just can't do as much as you. I'm like, okay, this is too much for my mental health. Okay. I need to go. I don't know why I keep, I, I hate Halloween. So I don't even know why I get into it. But anyway, it's not the same thing. Well, we can continue this conversation later. I want to focus now because Wait. you said I'm at a better place. Great. Wait, this is on. How long are we going to go with this video? Well, we at, we're almost over, aren't we? Okay. How long is this coming? Let's go. Okay. No, I was just saying, you know, it's. I think it's always good to wrap things up on a positive note. And I really appreciate hearing from you that, 
you and your sister feel like I'm at a better place right now. I feel yeah. like I'm at a better place. Yeah. I'm back to my Japanese. I'm about to get that certification, y'all. I'm going to add on. Oh, I got my business. That's right. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, I just got yeah. voted in as a board of directors mm -hmm. uh, member. I'm going to be coordinating a mm -hmm. tech conference. We don't know if it'll be virtual or not. And that's all I'm going to say right now because I want to hear about you. <laughs> okay. Um, what's going on with me? I am working. My job is pretty good. We working from home still. And... I'm I'm not bad at my job actually. Mm -hmm. I'm it's not my overall reaching goal and dream, but it's I'm not bad at it and I'm able to keep things together. Um I'm also writing, trying to keep that up and I want to have goals for my writing and I'm tr seeking other opportunities for gigs for writing and copywriting and all that great stuff. I also like a bunch of projects like mm -hmm. this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I probably start posting more on YouTube. Uh, maybe my book reviews again. Um, with sign language, I have been thinking about that more and more, although that's that creates like more preparation. So we'll see mm -hmm. about that. And um, yeah, what was the other thing I was thinking of? Um, but yeah, like those are pretty much what's those other things that's going on with me. Great. Oh, and and like I'm managing my money. Like it's just like different things. Things are slow, but I realize slow and steady wins the race. Right. Oh so. my goodness. That sounds biblical. I'm going to have I to look that I don't think that that's up. biblical. I know the words, <laughs> not the words. I'm not talking about the words. I'm talking about the idea. It probably is something good, but that's not is. the word. The phrase itself no, is. No, it's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this was a good discussion. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh just check us out next video. Uh, we are no, we may not do this every week like we have been doing, but we're going to try to keep posting consistently on Tuesdays um, and then try different things out. And just hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, comment below your thoughts on this discussion. Has you kind of experienced this with your parents? Or as a parent, <laughs> are you experiencing this with your children? Okay. okay. And from the parents' perspective, what? From all perspectives, just yeah. comment. Are they driving you crazy sometimes, but you still mm -hmm. love them? Anyway, women on the move. It was good having this to, to, to talk with you. Can I get a high five? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, y'all.